This is Lupin Mabel's closet. So today's video is another sewing room move around. I know, glutton for punishment. And I love to watch a good room move around and I thought you'd wanna see mine too. So stay tuned. Welcome back so I'm just going to go straight into the video it's all going to be me moving this room around which took me hours on end I think it was at six seven hours of moving the room around and it's obviously going to be on fast frame obviously you didn't want to watch me move this room around in just normal time because obviously seven hours of that would have been totally boring so obviously I'm going to chat throughout the video of what I'm doing and I shall join you at the end I'm always looking for perfection and this time I think I've got it I know I said this on the last move around and probably the one before that and probably even the one before that but I promise I swear on camera today this is the last room move around I'm going to do for a long long time I don't think I'm going to need to do it because I think it's absolutely perfect and you'll soon see at the end of the video obviously so stay tuned I would grab a coffee if I was you maybe a sleeping bag and a pillow and I shall see you at the end so this is the state of my room what a tip as you can see it's just it's just not functioning right for me it's just everywhere you look it's just clutter there's too much there's not enough room i can't get into the cupboards they're blocked in by my cutting station it's just it's just a mess i mean it's a mess because i've been busy but i can't get into those cupboards in the corner there because my clothes rail is in the way it's just not it's just not working for me so today's the day it's going to get a proper move around and it's going to get done for the final last time i promise so i've even sat and made a scaled room plan as best i could and it's not perfect but it's almost accurate in size so if there's my chair there's my table that's my little youtube corner there that isn't going to move and then I've measured all my desks, so I've got three desks. But I'm thinking um, I may not, well you'll see at the end, I didn't actually use the three desks. There's my IKEA units, which, I put, which I'm hoping to put along that wall there. And this cutting station is hopefully gonna go where that long piece is there. So it's gonna jut out at the side of where I sit to do my videos and Hopefully the desks will fit as I've got it designed there. We shall see. So there are the two units that sit underneath my cutting table and they're going to go there and it still leaves me enough room to get either side of my cutting table two feet so I can get down the side, which is brilliant. So there we go so here goes this is little old me moving this room around all on my lonesome i think the cats popped in once or twice just to you know cats do nosy nosy and yeah this is me so here goes
and here I am chatting to Toffee thinking that the cupboards will fit but I'm not even sure that the three desks will fit as I've planned and obviously Toffee hasn't got a clue what I'm on about but I do tend to talk to the cats and uh, yeah so I'll just keep on moving things and hoping that the desks will fit at this point but I'm not sure how accurate my measurements of my floor plan were so we shall see. And you guessed it, that second unit is not going to fit in that gap that's left. I didn't take into account those flipping awful skirting boards, as you can see. They jut out a little bit because the way the bungalow was built many, many, many years ago, the pipes are behind them, so they jut out. So they're not like a flat skirting board. So I had to rethink that idea and change the desk layout. So that's what I had to do in the end. But as you can see, I managed to slide the units in. They are quite heavy, but because it's on carpet, they slid really well. And uh, I think that's when I possibly pulled, strained my shoulder doing this. But hey ho, you know, you can't, if you don't do things, you won't get it done. That's my uh, motto. And yeah, good push with me behind gets it put back into position. And yeah, I'm doing okay so far. And another reason why my room was never quite right every time I moved it was because I could never be bothered to move those with the thread boards and the memo peg boards and I knew I had to move them in this, this final instance of move around. I knew if I didn't move them then I would never get the best out of the room so I just took them down. I just went for it and I took them all down and moved them obviously, moved my thread hanging to where I'm putting it up now and obviously you'll see where I put the pegboards later on but you know sometimes you just got to do things if you want them done and because I never moved them before and kind of moved the room around those things rather than moving them and then moving my room so I'm so glad I took the time to move them. It was a little bit fiddly mind getting them flat and my back was breaking because I was leaning over that desk and could I heck get them level, even though I use a little spirit level, but yeah, in the end I got I got them up. But wait till you see the palaver of the pegboards, that's coming further along. Oh my god, this this was so wonky, it was unreal, it just made me laugh out loud. So obviously I had to take it all down, remeasure it, re-nail it, and then second time, lucky, spot on. Obviously had to stop and have a little bit of lip gloss as you do. <laughs> Thank you. 
and as you can see I can get down the side of my cutting station there's about two feet gap there which is absolutely brilliant I love 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 it I can get to all of those cubby holes in my Carlex units and it's just brilliant I don't know why I never thought of putting it there before so I'm super thrilled with how that's worked so now I'm just tackling the cupboards that I could never get into at all because they were always blocked off by the cutting station and this is a cupboard that I use for all my haberdashery, my scented sachets, I sell, I sell a lot of scented sachets, draw liners and obviously the buttons, I have obviously all my patterns, they'll all go in there now, all my giant pom-poms, there you can see I'm tidying up all my soft furnishing fabrics, I've got quite a lot of them left. Finally getting to fold up my corduroys that I have that I use for my poppy pinny fours ready to wear items and I just remembered my cardboard little inserts that I made out of just cardboard boxes and you just put them in the middle of your fabric and they just keep your fabric lovely and flat and my fabric was getting really unruly and really difficult to cut out especially for the olive blouses these are the four fabrics that I make the olive blouses in and you'll find all of these in my shop along with the poppy pinny fours ready to wear and this is a new batch of fabrics that I've just received just to keep plenty of stock and as you can see they just fold up lovely and um, yeah I'm so glad I remembered to do this so now when I cut the olive blouses out it's so much easier this way than just unruly fabric everywhere I just need to cut out one and a half meters for each blouse and yeah it's a lot easier for me now and as you can see there's that gap at the side there's loads of room loads of room for me to get down there and cut away at my at my little pleasure Or putting these pegboards up were an absolute nightmare. Something that should have took me literally minutes took flipping ages. If my son Tom had been able to come, he would have had them up in no time at all. I could not, for the life of me, get them well up properly. To be honest, I didn't take into account, as I said before, the the overlap from each <laughs> memo board pegboard. And anyway, six holes later, an umpteen wall plugs hammered in and bashed in and what have you I did eventually manage to get them up but as you can see it was a little bit of a a little bit of a chew on for me nothing's ever simple in my mind but anyway I got it done in the end as you can see I mean I got them up in the end but even now they're still look at that not even straight but nobody knows except me and obviously you guys and my son Tom will take one look at them and go mom what on earth 
and eventually when COVID's over, he can come and put them on straight and maybe add another two more holes in the wall. But yeah, they're okay for me, they're straight enough. And after seven hours of backbreaking sweat and toil, this is my amazing new sewing studio. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it. I can just get into every single cubby hole, every cupboard, everything is just there and it's all just absolutely amazing. I can't stop grinning. I just want to spend all my time in this room now. Obviously, I do spend most of my time in this room now and I've got a couple more olive blouses to make, but there you go. And uh, yeah, look, you can see there's my little mini ironing board, which all I'll need from now on. And my packing stations behind me, all my fabrics are there. Oh, I'm just in my element. Absolutely love it. My little corner's still cozy. It's just, it's just absolutely perfect. Mabel's pride of place and my machines are out. I've got enough room on that long desk in the end. I took that other desk out. I didn't need it. It was just a luxury I didn't need. I only ever use the one, the sewing machine and the overlocker. And if I need to use my cover stitch machine, I'll just bring that forward. So yeah, just, it's just amazing. I'm super thrilled. So, I'll show you the before pictures and I'll show you the after. So, there you go. What do you think? I absolutely love it. You can probably tell. You could probably hear through the way I was talking with my voiceover throughout that video. I just, I just think it's just the best, I know I said this, I've said this before, but I seriously, I mean, you can see, you can see that I can get into everything, which is absolutely amazing. Now that my cutting station's here and I've got that two foot gap so I can stand quite nicely in that gap, everything is just there. And I've got my trolley to my right with all my little I mean, uh, pattern weights and all my, you know, interface and all the gadgets and gizmos there. I've got my pegboards on the wall, a little bit wonky, I know, but anyway, they're on the wall. Everything is in, like, to the right of me, and I'm right-handed. Everything is just there. Before, I had pegboards over there, something else over here, something else over there. So maybe if I was looking for a tape measure, I'd have to go over there for that. Then if I was looking for my scissors, I'd have to go over there for that. Just a total unorganised mess. My mum was absolutely chomping to come and help me, because she only lives two doors down, as you know, if you follow me and watch my videos bless her and she's eight no she's not my dad's 87 she's 78 and she's really fit at 78 she would have she loves a good room move around that's where i get it from my son tom will be like mom those boards have got to come down and straightened up but he he can do them when he can, when you know when we're able to we're not in lockdown again hopefully that's not too far away it was worth it, it was really hard seriously uh, yeah my body is um 
take its toll now. I can't do all the things that I think I can do. I still think I'm 19, but clearly my body thinks otherwise. <laughs> yeah, so I hope it wasn't too long, but I wanted to show you all the, you know, the good bits as well as the, the bad bits. I, I'm sure I will save so much time. I will be much more efficient and I'm sure I'll get so much more done in my day, which is what I need to do. Cause obviously with me making these clothes now, I need to uh, manage my time. <laughs> So yeah, I shall keep you posted on that, but I don't think there's going to be any tweaking needed because I think I've tweaked it to the best I can tweak it to. I think I've cracked it at long last. You'll all be saying, thank God for that, Jane. That's the end of that. We don't want to see any more room move arounds. Yeah, so thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and obviously let me know in the comments box what you think. Yeah, I've got lots more videos coming your way. I have got so long for this raglan blouse, which I promised you where I've done a little bit of a a hack on the shoulders. I've got a sew along coming for my one of my favourite blouses, the Oak Ridge blouse. I've got that coming. I've got some more of my last few Minerva makes. I want to show you them and the all the usual shenanigans. So stay tuned. If you just found me, please. I would love it if you subscribed, hit the bell, and joined along with me in my it is a sewing journey. But that's it for today. I am going to go and make a nice big cup of coffee. I'm going to put my feet up. What's that you say, Jane? You put your feet up? I know it's unheard of, but I'm going to try for the rest of the day. So hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Until then, as I always say, please take care and happy sewing.